Did Tony Hinchcliffe sink Trump's campaign with his joke about Puerto Rico? Many people seem to think so. Many people don't. But this rabbit hole goes so deep that he's even made the Swifties mad. Who would have thought Tony Hinchcliffe would cause major problems for a presidential candidate? But but that's what happened. This this is pretty crazy, and there's kind of a rabbit hole. So we're just going to look at a few things, and I'll name them right now. What we're going to check out, we're going to look at the original problem. We're going to look at the aftermath, and we're going to answer the question that everybody wants to know. Does Puerto Rico have a trash problem? I don't know. I, I want to know. You know, the joke had to come from somewhere or something or some article, and we're going to look and see if Puerto Rico has a trash problem. But let's go back to the beginning, and let's just do a little recap here. Tonight, former President Trump in battleground Georgia. I think it's going to be the most important election in the history of our country. It comes after Trump's massive rally, packing Madison Square Garden in deep blue New York City, the start of his closing argument. On issue after issue. That's a pretty huge crowd. Uh, you know... I I don't support either candidate. I have to say this every video because the last video you guys came at me hard. It's okay. It's okay. All right. But I don't, uh, I'm just, you know, I'm the guy that does the worst thing ever. Oh, doesn't pick a side. Ooh, you don't pick a side. So that's the worst crime ever. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I do. Shut it. Shut it. Nobody cares what you think. But point is, that's a pretty, pretty big crowd. Just saying, pretty big crowd. Kamala broke it, but I will fix it. We're going to fix it. Tonight, the Trump campaign facing bipartisan backlash over racist comments from a comedian who spoke earlier, including this about Puerto Rico. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. OK, all right. <laughs> OK, we're getting there. Trump's campaign. You know, you know. Uh, like that probably made New York, the Bronx mad. You know what I mean? I, I, as soon as he said it, I was like, yep, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem, you know? And it was campaign distancing itself saying, quote, this joke does not reflect the views of president Trump or the campaign today. Vice president Harris going after Trump. It is absolutely something that is intended to and is fanning the fuel of trying to divide our country. Republicans blasting the comedian's comment, too, including Congresswoman Maria Salazar calling it disgusting, saying it does not reflect GOP values. Florida Senator Rick Scott saying it's not funny and it's not true. And now Puerto Rican music superstar and Harris supporter Bad Bunny weighing in, reposting to his Who's 45 million Instagram followers Harris's message to Puerto That's always funny how everyone virtue signals, you know, like, oh my God, I got to go post on Instagram and state my opinion because I'm a good person, dude. We're all failures. What are we doing here? We're all just trying to be better than the other guy fucking up, right? I just... uh Dude, all the, like bad bunny ways in. I, you know, like, uh, w uh, I'm not even to go d down this. I don't want. I don't want those problems. We're just not gonna. We're not gonna break this down fully, but we could. But I know people are gonna wall out. Puerto Rico about Trump. He abandoned the island. Tried to block aid after back to back devastating hurricanes. I'm very <laughs> proud to have the support of folks like Bad Bunny and Jennifer Lopez and others. Yeah. Okay, J Lo. You mean the P. Diddy Queen? Get out of here. That nonsense last night at Madison Square Garden. J.D. Vance today responding. I haven't seen the joke. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke, but I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just, I'm so over it. Today in Pennsylvania, reactions from Puerto Rican supporters of Trump. I didn't really get offended, like, because I know people just like the gossip. And of Harris. All those disgusting rhetorics need to be stopped. The Puerto Rican vote could prove pivotal in Pennsylvania, the biggest swing state. This is just one big show, man. Politics is such a joke. Just watching all these. It's just like, whatever, dude. These people say offensive things. Every week, someone says something offensive, and then they do this whole fucking thing all over again, and then it dies out. And then, oh, yeah, he said, oh, my God. Ugh. Whatever. Where some 300,000 voting age Puerto Ricans could cast ballots. 
Our recent poll shows among Latinos overall, Harris leads. But Trump performs better with Latino men, splitting the vote with Harris. Meanwhile, the MSG rally also featuring Trump supporter and billionaire Elon Musk. Massive crushing victory. Get everyone, friends, family, people on the street. Put the signs up. Put the hat on. Let's go. Today, Philadelphia's Democratic DA filing a lawsuit right. to stop Musk's daily million-dollar giveaway to registered voters who sign his petition supporting free speech and the second uh. The DA uh. calling it an illegal lottery. Musk has not responded. Oh, Lord, dude, this is a circus, man. I don't who's who's actually believing in this circus. All these people are trying to do is secure their money. They are trying to secure government funding. That's all these people care about that. you. Why do you think Elon Musk is out here? He don't care about this country. If he did, he wouldn't make Tesla flip the bill for or he wouldn't make the U.S. government flip the bill for Tesla. Now, would he? you know what he wants? He wants to keep collecting his check and the government keeps playing for tesla to make him money right well let's all just be real here for a second y'all y'all believe in this do you y'all gotta be crazy to believe any of these people president biden did today i think it's totally inappropriate all right garrett joining us now garrett what is elon musk saying tonight he don't care. Well, so he's a billionaire. To us today with simply a photo of the contest's most recent winner, suggesting he's not backing down. Uh, uh, the Trump uh, campaign uh, source uh, tells uh, me that despite uh, endorsing the former president, uh, Haley and Trump are now increasingly unlikely to appear together in this race's closing days. Lester. Yo, they don't care about us, man. But anyways, Tony. Wow. Wow. A guy running a crappy open mic night to ruin a presidential campaign so trump now after all of that trump says i don't i don't know the comedian that made that racist joke no i don't know tony who i don't know do you know tony do you know tony who knows tony out here we none of us know tony uh so there you go but interesting enough John Stewart defends Tony. Let's see that. Having a roast now, now obviously, now obviously in retrospect, having a roast comedian come to a political rally a week before election day and roasting a key voting demographic, probably not the best decision by the campaign politically. But to be fair, the guy's really just doing what he does. I mean, bringing him to a rally and have him not do roast jokes, that'd be like bringing Beyonce to a rally and not have... Oh. <laughs> P. Diddy. All right. So, hey, he's just saying he was doing what he was doing, which, fair enough. It, I mean, I would have expected that. I mean... Was I really offended by any of this? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. Who knows? But to make matters even worse for Tony, even, even worse for Tony Hinchcliffe and Coulter. <laughs> and Coulter, of all people, is weighing in saying he wrote roast jokes so bad. I rejected them and Coulter's weighing in and she, you know, she might have a point. She might have a point. Trump might agree with her, but you know, the worst and most egregious thing is Tony made the Swifties mad. He made the Swifties mad because <laughs> he called Travis Kelsey the next OJ. Now for a minute, for a minute there, for a minute there, fellers, for a minute there. How many people heard this and went? Could be. Just. Mm, I, I don't want to admit it out loud, but I see what he's saying. Well, the Swifties did not like that. And as you know, Travis was a big part of Taylor's story last year. Uh, I'm sure they've broken up by now. I don't know. I don't keep up with it. But maybe she's going back 
for a fling now and then, and it might be the final fling, allegedly, from a guy like... Anyways, let's go on to the burning question here. Sorry, just went down a rabbit hole. Burning question. Puerto Rico trash problem, a call to change and waste management. This is from Black News. Um, it seems that there is some trash. I mean, this photo is not convincing, but it could be. It says Puerto Rico is not a country to take any joke regarding waste management. The island generates about 1.3 billion pounds of trash each year. Sadly, near 85% of its landfills are at saturation levels. This creates a terrible state of affairs, a situation where no proper means for waste disposal and recycling facilities has further aggr aggravated the crisis. Much of the waste are disposed of through littering, causing harm and health problems in the surroundings so and i went to look at eco rich the same picture uh this could be this <laughs> are they i mean it could be i heard there you know but this could all just be a coordinating thing by tony tony hired some website developers he's like do each black news eco rich um global press journal i don't know about this i just Google some articles really quick, but there appears to be, there could be a trash problem. There could be a solid waste problem. Yeah. This one says the 86% trash. It looks a little more legit. You know, it, it's got a little thing at the bottom pops up to let you know, like, you know, <laughs> but there seems to be a little bit of a trash problem. It looks like this is a landfill up here. Uh, yep. Look over, look out over the dump. Where the borders of the road in the neighborhood. So here we go. What do you think? What do you think? Was Tony right? Was Tony wrong? It appears Puerto Rico has a trash problem. It appears Tony Hinchcliffe has a problem saying there was a trash problem. Uh, and now we have something that could sink Trump's campaign. What do you think? Do you think this will sink Trump? Or do you think Tony Hinchcliffe is going to ride the hate to new levels of fame as Trump rides the dragon into the presidency? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching.